Okay, so today I'm going to be taking you through how to get set up and how to use Uniswap. I'm actually going to go through the process as if you're brand new and you don't know anything about cryptocurrencies. And as an example, I'm going to be trading some Ethereum for some Enreach. So let's get straight into it. So to do this, you're going to need three different things. You need a place to buy your Ethereum or whatever you're swapping. You need a wallet to store your Ethereum and your coins that you trade for on Uniswap. And finally, you're going to need a place to swap the coins. So I'll be giving an example for these three different points. But of course, there are alternatives. So if you're more comfortable or you just prefer using a different platform, feel free to use that. Just super quickly before we continue, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. So close now. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, it'd really help me out. Thank you. That's it. I'll explain my reasons for choosing each of these platforms as we go through. So the place we're going to be buying our Ethereum is from Coinbase. For me, it's just the best for beginners. It's where I started and it's just nice and easy to get started on. There's loads of different coins you can trade on there if you're looking to get into investing into cryptocurrencies. And if you're brand new and you're looking to learn about cryptocurrencies, they actually pay you in different cryptocurrencies to watch videos and learn about it. But like I said, this is by no means the only place you can buy Ethereum. There's so many places out there, but in my opinion, this is just the best for beginners. I will put a link below, which is a referral link. So if you do end up buying Ethereum on it, you'll get a little bit of Bitcoin as a thank you. Next thing you're going to need is a wallet to transfer that Ethereum to once you've bought it. For this, we're going to be using MetaMask. This is a solid all round wallet. Pretty easy to get set up. It's an extension for Chrome, Brave, Edge, all the browsers, and you can get an app on your phone. When you are setting it up, you'll be given a seed phrase. This is super important. You need to write this down, take a picture of it, save it, don't lose the seed. When you log in on a different PC, or if your PC gets reset or something, or even when you log in on your phone, you're going to need to put this phrase in. So don't lose it. You can't get access to your wallet without it. And finally, the place we're going to be swapping our coins is obviously Uniswap. It's super popular and they claim to have one of the lowest gas fees around, which I'll get into later, but you want that. That's good. One thing, make sure you're on the correct website for Uniswap. I'll put it on the screen now, the, the web address. Make sure you're on the correct one. I'll make sure that the link below is also the correct one. But just even then, double check that it's the correct link. You don't want to be connecting your wallet to some scam page. When you do get onto Uniswap, make sure you bookmark it and always go to that page through your bookmark. Also, just be aware, don't click on any links in the comments or anything. Okay, so now that you're all signed up for those, we can actually start. So like I said, I'm going to be swapping some Ethereum for some Enreach. Okay, so now we're on the computer and we're on Coinbase. This is where we just bought our Ethereum. I'm going to send this Ethereum over to MetaMask. So I've already bought Ethereum. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to send and receive, change this to Ethereum. And I'm going to send over about £80 worth of, the, of Ethereum, which is a bit stupid because I'll be paying more in gas on Uniswap than actually I'll be buying on Enreach. So it doesn't actually make sense, but it's a bit of a waste of money. For, it's just for an example, so it's fine. So now we're going to go to MetaMask and we're going to get our wallet address. To get your wallet, you just copy that. Go back to Coinbase. Ethereum. Paste your wallet address in. And click send. You might have to do a two step authentication and it'll take about five, 10 minutes to send over to MetaMask. So that's all done. That's sent to MetaMask. So it'll appear in our wallet in just a little bit. Okay, so now it's appeared in our MetaMask wallet. So you can see there we've got the 80 plus what I had before. So now we're going to want to go over to Uniswap. Before you do this, you might want to check the gas prices. So I'll put a link to this down below as well. You can see here the Uniswap gas. These are the gas prices. So as I said before, I'll probably be paying more in gas than I will be in paying for Enreach. But it's just for an example. When you first open Uniswap, um, there'll be a button up here to connect your wallet. Click connect wallet and connect to MetaMask. I've already done that, so my mine's already saved. So I'm already connected. So you can see my ETH, ETH balance here. So now we're going to want to select a token, which is Enreach, which is what I'm swapping for. But if it's not there, so for example, if you were changing to something that's not on the list, like Chunk, you want to click import understand and import it and it'll be there but for us we're doing in reach so i'm going to swap about so i'm going to swap about 0 0.002 and you can see we'll get 14 in reach tokens so you want to click that click confirm swap it'll come up here with your metamask and you can edit the gas fee always go for the slowest it takes a bit longer but why would you pay more 
hit confirm and that's it if you don't have the token on your metamask you want to click add end reach to metamask which is how you how it shows up on your metamask so end reach is already on my metamask so i don't need to add it close that and you can see it's pending you can view the status of it on etherscan so you can see mine's pending and because we click slow it'll take a couple minutes so what i'll do is i'll come back once that's all been finished okay so it's happened it's in it took about 10 minutes to go in and uh, it wasn't long at all even with slow gas fee and um, only took about 10 minutes so that's not too bad and you can see it's in so we got it traded or swapped and um, you can see i didn't use all my ethereum and we got the enrich tokens here so we got 21 of those i already had a few and um, you can see how much they're worth on metamask and then if you do need to send them anywhere else you can of course do that so i'm just going to quickly show you if you do have any extra ethereum left over how to send it back to coinbase so you're going to want to click send to get your address you're going to want to go back to coinbase send and receive receive ethereum copy the address Throw it in there, click slow again, click the max, and just confirm it. And that'll take a little bit longer as well, just because you've done slow, but only take about five minutes usually. And that's pretty much it. You can see if we go back, that's still there because it hasn't sent yet, but we have our end reach, and that's pretty much it. You can then do with that what you like. So that pretty much wraps it up. That's everything you need to know about how to swap on Uniswap. If you do have any questions, shoot them down below and I'm pretty good at replying to comments. So I'll try and get back to every single one of you. If it helps you out, so you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.